Hey guys, welcome back to Bomberman 4. Okay, so now we're gonna do World 3, which is the modern world. <laughs> Although this game was 1990s, but yeah, this seems very modern. Okay, it's this remix of um, the carnival music from Bomberman 1, and I think more. Um, I think it's more of a remix of the Bomberman 3 um, Fireworld, to be honest. Obviously, because it's a new, it's the um, latest game before this one. Okay, I'll keep um, that mechanical egg there. But obviously, it'll be different from what I'm the current egg I have. Or it'll be different from the helper that's helping me. Okay, these little alarms here, what happens is when you blow them up, it like makes a sound and all the enemies just go frantic and start moving faster. So that's just a like little thing. You don't need to blow it up like to complete the level, obviously, because um, I blew it up after the exit appeared. But yeah, it's not like essential. Actually, I don't really, really know what power-ups I need, unless it's obviously a heart and you're an extra life. Because I've got like remote show bombs, I've got walk through walls. I'm pretty much kitted out, but I'm gonna just check because I always do. Doesn't see the point of doing anything different. Okay, these um bombs. Okay, so these little arrows here. Basically, if you whenever you knock a bomb onto a arrow, then it goes into oh yeah, and speed. That's everything I can um I'm searching for is more speed. But yeah, let me just um. So yeah, you kick it, if you have the bomb kick power up, and it basically follows the arrow. I don't want to um, release that guy, because they're not helpful at all. Okay, so I've got two um, helpers again. Oh nice, I've got an extra life just for... Um... Oh yeah, they randomly detonated, I'm so pleased that I um, was out of the way of that one, I forgot about that. I'm sure they randomly detonated, I do remember that actually happening. Oh, uh, so I actually have to find the exit for once. There it is. I got no extra life. Racking any extra lives, that's help. That's gonna be helpful, because... I'm sure this game gets harder as it goes on. Well, naturally it would, but... No, I freed him, orange bomb. Whatever, he can't really do much, can he? I'm taking care of proceedings right now. <laughs> okay. But yeah, those arrows are useful. Actually, they're more um, they're more prominent in um, the battle mode, obviously, because when you're trying to kill um, your competitors, and obviously they're like they're more um, violent in battle mode. Okay, these little scroll things here. These are hilarious. Their enemy is they fart at you, I swear, that's what that is, that's a fart cloud. It's like a, it's maybe like a poisonous cloud or something, a poisonous gas here at least, but... See, like, there you go, that's what they do, they, they like, charge towards you. Oh, I don't want to blow that up yet. I swear, they farted, Ah, oh, shite. There we go, let me blow up the fart cloud. Okay, these um, these things, these arrows rotate, so obviously if you want to, like, kick onto it and kill an enemy or trap an enemy, then you have to trap it where it's in a right, when it's in the right spot, or when the arrow's in the right direction. I don't want that. Thank you for the offer, Spike Bomb, but no. Nah. Okay, there's two, those little portal things up there. I found out what they did. In the two-player mode, um... Wait, this is specifically two player mode only, like you can blow up blocks and then you'll find like a power up, like as long as you have like a push power up, um, apparently that's, I don't know if it's like a two player specific power up or not, but there's apparently you, if you both have um, a push sort of power up, you can um, move blocks and then there's a portal underneath a block, but that's only in the two player mode and once you find the portal you get zapped into the portal over there and you go to like a mini game or something like that. I'm not entirely 100% sure, I just literally researched it right now. But I can link the Wikipedia article or something in the... The Bomberman Wiki... In the... Um, video, in the description. 
yeah, it's pretty cool, actually. There you go. Ah, shit. Come over here. God damn it, what a boring prick. There you go. Lana, <laughs> what a boring prick, not wanting to die. God damn it, people these days. I don't know why I did that. I just felt like doing it. I mean, I, I do what I want anyway. <laughs> okay, um... 3-5. This is going on pretty quickly. I haven't died yet either, so we're doing okay. But I know it gets harder if you go on. I think the final boss is, a, is pretty tricky. I couldn't think of that. You would think I would give some of the other um, helpers a chance, because, you know, it's a playthrough, but screw this, I'm doing well. Hold on to this guy so far. He's he served me well. Actually, the power up he's got is pretty useful. Nice more speed. I think I'm almost um, at full speed now. Coming right. So I'm going pretty damn fast. I don't know what that is. It's like a sleeping bird or something. Oh yeah, and it wakes up. Oh god, yeah, I forgot it did that. Oh wow, and there's a... I hate finding the times. The clocks when I've um, blown everything up. Or when I've killed all the enemies. That's so frustrating. It's like, here you go, here's a clock. Use it for nothing. Okay, these, um, okay, if I hadn't died, these enemies would be quite useful. What it do is, they, um, I'll let them just do it now. They basically hit, um, bombs with your hammer, and they turn it into, um, a power-up. I've already got to walk through walls, but whatever. Don't know who that is. Yeah, some of these are like Hudson specific characters or something like that I remember reading. Oh, I've seen, like, seen a while ago. Oh, um, I've already got all the power-ups. I'm just not going to bother going for that last block over there. It's not worth it. Well, it probably could be, but, you know. I'm sure you guys don't want to see me just go out my way for, like, ten seconds. I bet there's not even any power-ups in there. Okay, this one's called Lady... This character's called Lady Bomber. So it's almost similar to Pretty Bomber, but... Ah, you dumb bitch. I don't know what they- what does peas do? I'm still not entirely sure. There you go. Got her. See, having, um... Remote control bombs, and having a lot of them as well is very helpful. Especially on arsehole bosses like this. They got full flame power. I'm kitted out. <laughs> I am basically kitted out. Until I die, of course. Okay, what's this boss? Oh, Jesus, what the hell is that? Oh, you have to wait for him to land. But of course, it lays a lot of rockets when it does land.
So I think when you're in front of him, he puts those little, like, clouds out. But when you're behind him, he buys the rockets. So I need to just hide and be careful about that. There we go. Done. I guess I should say she, just because the machine looks like a man. She's controlling the machine. Cool. So that's it. That's um, the f um, present world complete. And up next is the futuristic world. And I know that because... Well, I've seen this world before anyway. <laughs> Alright, so I'll see you guys um, next video.